And welcome everybody over on YouTube and here in the Twitch chat. We have Rakdos mid-range again. This is certainly a really good deck, and it's only going to be getting better with the help of Ravnica Allegiance in a little bit. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and uh, play with the cards that we have. We have to use Cinder Barons right now. Unfortunately, we don't have Blood Crypt yet. Um, but we still have lots of really good, uh, just efficient cards here with like stuff like Siege Game Commander, Rekindling Phoenix, Midnight Reaper. All of our cards are just good, you know, and that's that's what makes a good deck. I really love the Immortal Sun in this deck. I think it really uh, ties the deck together. Um, it's probably the best card in the deck, and um, I think, it, you know, it just it makes Siege Game Commander so much better uh, by increasing the the power and toughness of all your creatures and just goes really well. So we got lots of good removal, lots of good interaction, and we can grind out basically everybody. So let's try it. Hey, Observant Observer. Yes, I always do wear a dress shirt and tie when I stream. Um, I like how I look with that. I like how I like to present myself like this. We are Spawn says, hey, you have a very clear voice, easy to hear. This is my first week playing MTG, so I've been watching lots of streamers and trying to learn the game more. That's a really good idea to, you know, really watch a lot of streamers, learn the game. I like what you're doing. But welcome to Magic. I hope you're having fun with the game. And I hope you really like, it. you know, I hope you've been liking it. <laughs> y'all are kind. I'm glad y'all like my voice. I haven't... I haven't really gotten compliments on my voice, basically, before, so I'm, I'm glad y'all like it. Oh, uh, I'm going to keep this. I'm feeling like we're going to draw a black source. We have more black sources than red sources in our deck, and we just really need, like, the one black source to get Squire and Midnight Reaper going and get a lot of card advantage going, so there we go. Uh, what was another question? Uh, oh, yeah, you're looking forward to Grixis Control. Heck yeah. All right. Demir. That's a good card to put in the graveyard. All right. Naya. Legends. I am typing up some stuff for the For the YouTube channel there. All right, so basically our, our plan is just to try to resolve Immortal Sun and get Immortal Sun in play, and then be able to draw lots of cards with the Immortal Sun. Like that's that's our game plan, pretty pretty cut and dry. Um, while we're doing that, we have some creatures on the battlefield that um, our opponent has to kind of deal with. That we're going to be kind of distracting them with these creatures, but our our real game plan is just to resolve the Immortal Sun. There. Yeah, I mean, you could fit Banefire in the deck. I don't think it's necessary. I I honestly don't like Banefire too much as a card myself. Um, I'd rather just have uh, more card advantage against control decks. And against decks with, like, Disinformation Campaign, Banefire is not too good. Because you have to, like, wait till, like, the end. You have to, like, wait till... You know, you have to wait a long time before you cast Banefire because you want it to be big. Um, but against decks that like that attack your hand like this, you know it's hard to hit like lots of land drops and then also be able to bane fire. So anyway, we got Crazy Pyro with the resub for the fifth month in a row. Welcome back, Crazy Pyro. You are awesome. One of my favorites. Thanks so much for the resub. That's sub number twelve on the day. All right, and if our opponent goes double campaign here, um, you know, not much we can do about that. We'll have to discard the Immortal Sun. All right, not double campaign. That's great news for us. Great news. And no counter spell. Perfect. Here we go. See, that's what our creature was doing. You know, like. Like I was saying, our creatures were just kind of distracting our opponent. You know, like we had that Rekindling Phoenix, distracted the opponent. What is this? Nezahal? 
Main deck, Nezahal. Alright, Play Crafter. Come on, Play Crafter. Where you at? Ugh. Hey, Mass. Alright, we can't attack through a Nezahal. Ooh, somebody dropped some lore on Alien Toe Shop. What is the Immortal Sun? It's... From what I know, it's like... It's like the thing that Nicol Bolas was trying to get from Ixalan. Sent... Sent Frasco to Ixalan to go find the Immortal Sun. I don't know exactly what it does lore-wise. Oh yeah, that's right. It's, that's what it does. It, it stops Planeswalkers from Planeswalking. That's right. And there we go! Found Playcrafter. Alright, we're going to get the attack in first. Because I want to sack this 2-3 Squire. Oh, block, 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 block. Come on, block. Yes! Woo! Oh boy, that was a close one. So they have, to, they have to discard four cards to save their Nezahal. Because they have to discard three uh, to exile it. And then play Crafter Trigger, they'll have to discard another one. So I'll have to discard four cards. And there they go. Unmoored Ego. We better not lose to somebody playing Unmoored Ego main deck. But yeah, so they discarded Golden Demise, Unmoored Ego, Thought Erasure, and Eldest Reborn. <laughs> not stream sniping confirmed. <laughs> Oh, no. All right, well. Come on, Immortal Sun. Uh, ooh, boy. We did it. No counterspell? We did it. Ooh. Stream sniping is when your opponent is watching you stream, so they're, like, looking at the cards in your hand and stuff while you're playing. Um, I could put, I could put, uh, Seeker Squire back in my hand, but I don't think that's, that's too necessary. <laughs> Moral just came into play tapped. That's why it was tapped. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to save Folly for Playcrafter. keep the swamp in hand. Uh, it definitely happens, but there's nothing I can do about it, so I don't I don't really complain about it too much cuz you know, I can't can't do anything about it and and you know, like we're just playing like these like these are such low stakes like these leagues whether we win or lose and stuff and if people want to to cheat to to try to help them win. Whatever. Well, I can't see, I can't see the, the chat anymore. All right, we got another play crafter. We're gonna go ahead and just get a squire out and get some exploring in. Okay, yeah. So wash. Wash says, uh, I've been playing this for about a month now. I'm trying to find the best way to use my gold and gems to get the most cards I can. Any tips? Um, yeah, I would recommend playing limited, drafting and playing sealed um, with your gold and gems. I think that's, that's the way to get the, the most cards possible with them. Um...
You can also, um, you, like that site right there that I just linked with XOH Point Vault, that's a, a really well put together website that has a lot of information about the different, like, about lots of things about Arena, including different entry fee and, and payout and stuff. Um, should I just play an Eldritch Reborn to get it going? No. You can kind of see, like, in if you go to their home home tab. Uh, oh, they got their own Immortal Sun uh, reward. They have like reward profit analysis, like where it tells you like um, like the competitive constructed event. You know, like gives you that, but then like sealed um, and includes like like packs and everything and draft and and so on. So it's it's a pretty cool site. Lots of information there. Oh wait, they stole my. Wait a minute. They don't have their own Immortal Sun. They stole mine. They took it hostage. Okay. They took our son. They took our son. I kind of want to just play the Playcrafter there to just to draw a new card, make them discard their last card. Yeah, so that's my plan. Third chapter of Eldritch Reborn, put uh, Hostage Shaker into play. Hostage Shaker, take the Immortal Sun. You ready to go toe to toe with me? Well, Ral doesn't do a whole lot for you there. Uh, what can we Daredevil? We can Daredevil Dispersal. Put Sun back into our hand. Alright, so... Do we have the mana for all that? Five, six, one, two... Oh, we're one short! We are one short. One short of, of Daredevil, Dispersal, get Immortal Sun back, and then play Immortal Sun, and then be able to attack him for lethal. Do you have any instant speed damage? Fungal Infection, Contempt... No. I've been through worse. It's First Strike. Ugh. You're that card away. I'm still gonna, you know, bounce the Immortal Sun, put it back in my hand. Let only let them draw the one card. Kind of surprised they just conceded there. They weren't dead, dead. All right, we got Duress, Bloodfast, Doom Whisperer. Take out Coil. Do I even want Doom Whisperer? Not really. Doom Whisperer is for the aggro decks. Maybe better than all these Contempts and Eldest Reborns and Playcrafters, though. Like, we don't need this many of those effects, I don't think. Maybe I just take out Contempt. And we still have... We still have uh, Eldest and Playcrafter. And we have Daredevil also. That, like, Daredevil can find... Or, like, get their contempt also. And <laughs> we need some burglar rats. Do you think protection from color would ever be reprinted in standard type expansions? I could see it being reprinted. Like, you know, right now it's not getting printed. They're, they're going with the hexproof stuff. They're pretty happy with the hexproof stuff. But 
I could see that changing at some point. I wouldn't say in like the near future, but maybe mid to long term future. Federico, I'm doing really well. Hope you're doing well. This is a Hawkeye show now. You decided to come up and steal the show. Good thing about Red Black, you get lots of tap lands. Hope you like tap lands. That's not a tap land. What do you think of Esper in the metagame? I don't like it right now. I think after RNA, it will get better for sure. But right now, I, I'm not a fan of Esper. I don't think it has... You know, it has Teferi, but I don't... I don't think it has good enough interaction and card advantage and mana base. Um, there's usually like one of those three aspects it struggles when in in games um, and loses games. All right, so I'm looking at most likely going turn four Daredevil Discovery. Not never mind. Turn four, we got Daredevil Thought Erasure. <laughs> oh yeah, Hawkeye is the best magic player ever. He's great. Alright, Daredevil down. Unfortunate for us. Yeah, we won last game. Yep. Our guys never lost. Um I don't really have anything to do here. Wow, that resolved quickly. I did not really expect that to resolve. If I knew it was going to resolve, I would have played Chain Whirler. Or sorry, not Chain <laughs> Siege Gang. <laughs> Alright, sixth mana. Ugh. Feels weird getting rid of Midnight Reaper. That card's really good. So the tokens, you don't get to draw extra cards for the tokens dying with Siege Gang Commander. Like Midnight Reaper says non-token. Hmm. Yeah, Reaper is great with Playcrafter. I just want mana for Immortal Sun though, you know? Rude. Hmm. <laughs> Tilt. Man, what am I supposed to discard here? Elvis Reborn? I guess so.
Yeah, if we draw a land, we get to double plague. If we don't draw a land, we plague and maybe hit another land. Plague again. I guess they're they're gonna go Nikki B and make me discard. No, no Nikki B, no discard. Okay. Let's. I guess I would, yeah. Like I'll trade, shoot for Midnight Reaper. Do they just have Counterspell in hand? I feel like they probably have Counterspell in hand. Oh well. I do have Counterspell in hand. Oh, this is not good for us. This has basically gone horribly wrong. These disinformation campaigns have been really good. Now I don't have any answer for Nezahal. Yet. We can draw something, though. I don't get the attack in for two now, but it's good to have Playcrafter in my gra or uh, Siege Gang in my graveyard. Oh, they're gonna feel the ruin my folly. No. Yeah, right after we duress. Yep, they had campaign negate campaign. <laughs> uh. No, I mean you still have to choose. You still have to choose something to sacrifice. If, if, you sac if I sacrificed uh, Siege Gang and went dealt two damage to the face, I'd still have to sacrifice something to play Crafter. So I'd just have to sacrifice Play Crafter then. Yeah, now they got Ascanta going. All right, we're going to game three. Oh, sorry, Hex Bomb. Yeah, there's a new card. <laughs> Generous Stray. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. I think... Myself trading the Midnight Reaper ended up being a real bad play for us. Uh, all right, let's keep. Let's try this one. Uh, Midnight Reaper is great, but I need land. All right, I'm keeping it. We'll find land with the Secret Squire. We just need, we need one land out of the two cards underneath Midnight Reaper here. We need one of them to be land. 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 Hooray! How many one-landers did we keep last night with wins? Oh, I don't even remember. It's a thing. We play so many games. I don't really remember. If. That answer could be, like, zero, or it could be, like... Five, and I wouldn't be surprised either way. <laughs> oh, they're gonna take blood fast. That's fine. We'll just get another Midnight Reaper in play. What's your stance on best of one ranked? Does it bother you? Uh, I I just don't really care. It's I'm not. I have zero interest in playing it. Uh, it's not for me. Um, I like playing mid range decks quite a bit, and I think it's kind of impossible to play a mid-range deck that is good against um, that's good against hyper aggro and hyper control and so it's it just puts together like the 
kind of the bad parts of modern of of you not wanting to you wanting to just kind of sail by your opponent and either do like your super control thing of like killing all the creatures all the time or do your super aggro thing of like playing a bunch of small things and killing your opponent and there's just not a good it's just i mean that's just like all you can do there's not a good like balance Hmm. I'm gonna pass here. I think, that's, I think this is a likely negate for Bloodfast. Yep, that was certainly a negate. So, alright, so we know they have negate in their hands. Because otherwise, they would have just cast down before damage and not just taken three. Yeah, our hand is really good. It's I could I could see like the opponent honestly taking any of these. Probably not play Crafter, but I could could have seen them taking Bloodfast or si Siege Gang. But looks like they're gonna have like the negate for. What they want to do is have negate for Bloodfast. I'm not going to play into the negate though. Yeah, Treasure Map could fit in this kind of deck. Absolutely. Treasure map helps helps you get to um, Immortal Sun faster and everything and more re reliably. This could certainly be a treasure map kind of deck. Yeah, and they surveilled another negate over there. There we go. Death to the penguin. Death to the penguin. One and know. This deck's pretty good. I do not have any decks with sword point diplomacy. Oh wait. I guess I have Rectos Burn deck that has that. I was thinking of a different card at first. I was thinking of uh, not Revel Riches, but there's another like treasure chest type card that's black that I was thinking of at first. But yeah, Rakdos Burn. Which, that's a deck that's getting a whole lot from the next set. Um, with, you know, getting the new Lightning Bolt and Theater of Horrors. Those two cards are promising. The quest is to cast black or green, but you hate Golgari. Well, just play Thief of Sanities and take your opponent's spells and cast those. Whoops, this is looking like mono blue. Nope. Drakes. Let's go play Phoenix. Phoenix uses our mana well here. Phoenix is a fine thing to sack to play crafter. Blocks well. Never mind. Alright, regret not playing Lava Coil. We took a hit. Murmuring Mystic. Okay. I was too worried to play Playcrafter because if they just have an opt, they get their 1-1. One, one. All right, Immortal Sun, where you at? Feel free to show up anytime. Free to show up anytime, Immortal Sun. Or, you know, other spells that are not lands. I 
have two immortal sons. Hmm. Have we drawn a spell this game? Or are we just only drawn lands? One, two, three, four, five. I think we drew a lava coil. Yeah, we've drawn one lava coil, I think. And then all lands. One lava coil. And then all lands. Turn nine, we're hitting land drops, going strong. Still got a, still got a land in, pl land in hand. All right, we're down to eight. Eight's not a lot. It's not a lot. Still sitting on the one lava coil. It's the only non land to draw. I think the the algorithm for arena looks sketchy because you just play so many hands so many games that like you have games like that like it just happens but you just play so many so many games that it that you remember them um our deck's really good in this matchup if we like draw the spells and not 11 of the 25 lands Siege Gang isn't the best. I think Doom Whisper is probably better than Siege Gang. And not sure how much I would like Blood... Do I really want Bloodfast? Not sure if I want Bloodfast. Could play Duress instead. No, maybe I do play Bloodfast. Kind of scared of dying to burn spells. With Bloodfast. Straight and narrow. Okay. One up here. Meow. Meow, meow. Oh, where'd my lands go? Okay, you're covering them up. All right, we got a good hand for game two. I think this is a real good matchup for us with all these Elvis Reborns and play crafters and stuff. Oh, put your butt down. Out of my face. I'm not going to just play the Playcrafter out for nothing, so we're just going to play this fast turn. Get there. Ooh, getting rid of a dive down. Run away with me tomorrow. All right, so we'll go Daredevil Discovery. So I only want this land. Do I want Midnight Reaper? Not really. 
Honestly, maybe I just don't even take that land because it's Cinder Barrens, and we can probably find other lands. Actually, I kind of think I should have just put both of them on the bottom. No more promise, no more sorrow. Yeah, I should just put that Cinder Barrens in the graveyard also. Alright, so it looks like it probably has the dive down. Make him just, just destroy some. I guess this trades with dive down. Like so this, this makes them cast their dive down. Or no, it doesn't. Yeah, because I thought that dive down, which is why I didn't want to contempt it. And so because Murmuring Mystic would just make a, a token. And now we have ba best case scenario of Murmuring Mystic in our deck. Yeah, so Murmuring Mystic would make a 1-1 token and they'd be able to sacrifice the 1-1 token. Huh. Well, they did have it. I guess they just didn't want to do that. Our deck is sweet. I could have... Maybe I should have sacked the Direfully Daredevil, honestly, to play Crafter. So I could just get back Daredevil with Eldritch Reborn. And just, like, Lightning Strike him or Opt or something. I guess Midnight Reaper is not a bad card to get back, though. <laughs> Crackling Drake would just be chilling at, like, a 1-4. A but draw a card. I'm gonna go Midnight Reaper. And I like Midnight Reaper even more since our opponent used Coil and we got Phoenix. Marikai with the tier 1 sub. Thank you so much for the support. Let's get some hype for our new sub. Any thoughts on how Jund vs. Gruul is shaping up in the new upcoming standard metagame? Way too early to tell. No, no, we're gonna just start playing car games with the cards and everything. Too early to tell. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not lethal. So they're playing Arc Light Phoenix, which has seems a little weird for everything else that we've seen. They haven't really looked like an Arc Light Phoenix deck too much. I guess they did have Electromancer. But that Arc Light Phoenix does make my sacrifice effects worse. Thanks, Marikai. Alright. Other Siege getting out, Duress in. Playing one Duress.
Yeah, Niv is certainly going to be worse now with the, with the format speeding up. I I would also I'd put the chance on Niv Mizzet getting banned while it's in standard at point point five percent. Not zero, but essentially zero. Um, I don't really have any super favorite cards yet that have been spoiled. Um, there's a whole lot that I like. A lot of cards that I like. I don't know about like favorite though. Um, I've been talking about like how I think Theater of Horrors is really strong, and I think that the Mythic Demon, the Mythic Black Demon, is really strong. Uh, Spawn of Mayhem. I guess that's the name of that card. I really like Domri, and I'm excited to play with Domri. I don't think Domri is necessarily real strong, but I like Domri. No, so tomorrow, tomorrow is when we're we're gonna be doing the the, um, we're gonna be talking all about Ravnica Allegiance card by card tomorrow on stream here. If you want to join us for that, uh, that's a good point. I guess we do have more people in here. So, so tomorrow, um, we're doing a huge set review, giving a a letter grade to every card in Ravnica Allegiance, talking standard wise. Um, and so we'll be discussing them here in chat and everything. So if you want to join for that, and I'll be, of course, recording those for YouTube and putting them up on my YouTube channel um, afterwards. So uh, you, if you're not able to make it, you can uh, check those out over the weekend. Um, and, uh, A through F. Did I say A through Z? A through F letter grades. Do they have an opt? No. All right, Midnight Reaper. Yeah, that sounds good, J-Jack Jr. Yeah, YouTube channel is youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um, I'm trying to type around Hawkeye here. Ah. Sorry, Hawkeye. So yeah, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG is where you can find that. I demand that every Rakdos card gets bumped up a letter grade for the sweet, sweet flavor text. Yeah, no problem. No problem, DJ. Jack. All right. Opponent did not get to do much there. You know, keep... You know, they kept two lands that discovery. And they just... We're pretty unfortunate not finding lands. That being said, I, I do think that's a really good matchup for us. But they were playing the Arclight version of the deck, and the Arclight version is certainly harder for us to beat than the Drake's deck. Um, with us having all these play crafters and Eldest Reborns, yeah, best of one. Do that. Um, and uh, thanks, We Are Spawn. Thanks for subbing to the channel, the YouTube channel there. Um, but with us having all those sacrifice effects, it really makes that matchup good for us. But yeah, so thank yeah, thanks for subbing to the YouTube channel. Try you know, need to get to a thousand subs and four thousand hours watch to get partnered. So we just got to halfway the halfway point today in subs. We're at a little over five hundred now. So yeah. If you'd like to watch the stream replays or uh, just give me a follow on there, I'd be really appreciative. Giving the follow on the YouTube channel. Um Hey, Lord Zelia with the sub with Twitch Prime. I'm getting some Hawkeye emotes for that. Thanks, Lord. I kind of want to coil that, but I'm not going to. That's not worth the coil. It's a tempting coil, but it's really just not worth it. 
and Luke. Awkward Luke, thank you so much for that support as well. Y'all are awesome. Alright, Playcrafter, get rid of one of these. Alright, so that gets us to 15 subs on the day. Alright, we got to the next goal. Well, well, one, thanks Uncanny Addiction for always catching the streams and also subbing on there. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Alright, so we got 15 subs now. Okay, I'm trying to type around you. Hmm. Okay, so we are going to be... Yeah, using gems for sealed and gold for draft, that's definitely a good idea. If you like drafting more and you're confident in your drafting more, you can certainly use you, uh, your gems for drafting as well. But I, I recommend doing the best two out of three drafts with your gems with those. Um, so we're playing against White Weenie, Bloodfast out, Moment, Demise, Soot, Whisper. Eldest gone, Playcrafter gone, so that's 63, Daredevil, Daredevil gone, 60, I like it. Um, last question is if we, do we actually want Immortal Sun or not? I think so. We have so much removal that we're going to want like the card advantage, I think. I guess I don't love Midnight Reaper. Do I want to go Duress over Midnight Reaper? Yep, Draft is really rewarding. I agree. Definitely, Larry. I agree, too. Um, draft and Sealed, both both very rewarding. Am I... <laughs> Uh, okay, Addiction, my, life, my wife loves when I put Todd on Twitch tab on our TV for five hours a day. <laughs> well, thanks, thanks for being here. Um, I'm going to go two Duress, two Midnight Reaper. One Sun. One Sun, two Duress, three Reaper. There we go. Let's go with that. All right, so yeah, we're going to be opening a pack after this. We're getting to 15 subs. Our third goal, goal number three. We only got to seven yesterday, so we got double today. That's awesome, Hawkeye. All right, so let's do a quick poll. You got one minute. You get to vote for what set you want me to open a pack up here on Arena. Do you want it to be... M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan. And go. Ah, they are green-white tokens. Okay. Wasn't exactly what we saw. I love that we have this golden demise chilling in our hand. Can we vote to save opens for next weekend? We could, maybe. I guess I could just do that for... That's not a bad idea. So I think... So tomorrow's stream, we're going to be, you know, going through the whole sets and doing the big set reviews, right? So we're not going to be playing Arena tomorrow, uh, likely, unless that doesn't take too long but then and then after that we're going to be five days and under so maybe yeah so i think so then after to so this will be like the last one and then yeah after tomorrow then we'll just start saving them up that's a good idea Ugh. and then yeah that's that's a good idea Ugh, poor ixalan three three o'clock eastern tomorrow yeah, and so so we'll just have because we're supposed to have the entire set known to us tomorrow. We're supposed to at least. Oh, I guess 
This is really risky against... Oh, man, yeah, my play is really risky against Venerate Luxodon. Of saving the Golden Demise. Oh, no, yeah, Luxodon. Ooh, okay, good, not Luxodon. Good. Yeah, bailed out, not Luxodon. I was getting really greedy to get the other token in history. And we also got... We also got a, a random Kral Harpooner also. Alright, we need a red source. We have so many swamps. Below. I just realized we can't even cast Siege Gang. Return to the fight. Surprised they take that over. Pretty surprised they take that over Amara, TBH. That demise, oh man, that demise felt real good. The new set doesn't come out tomorrow. The new set comes out on the 17th. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the the set review. But we should, well, I mean, like, we should know all the cards tomorrow. I believe that we'll have the the full set spoiled and everything. Yeah, it's weird they got Harpooner there and not Amara. The reason why is they could have another Amara in hand that they wanted to play. That's, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Seeing yourself. What I see in you. Do I want to coil this harpooner also? I kind of do. Is that a waste, though? Yeah, that's a waste. You have not killed me yet. No, I, I, we just killed you, Johnny. The, so the problem is that they have Tristani. Like, I'm gonna need to coil Tristani. I gotta save it. Yep, the review will be up on the YouTube channel for sure. Yep. All right, another easy win for Rakdos midrange, three and O. Oh. That one was all that golden demise. That was a hundred percent golden demise right there. All right, Naya Legends is almost done for. YouTube also right now. Just gotta do a few more little bit of typing. How's our hand looking? Uh yuck. Alright, Hawkeye, let me mulligan. Hawkeye's tail is just hitting the... He's standing up on the other side of the mouse, and so his tail just keeps whacking the mouse. Uh, let me get over here. Keep. Okay. All right, Nia Legends is up on YouTube now. I made a budget elf deck based on yours with what I had available, Todd, and it's been great against non-Ritual <laughs> of Soot users. But cool. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not... It's definitely hard to beat... Uh, um, hard to beat sweepers with, with elf ball. Alright, at least we got Bloodfast in play. Bloodfast is certainly a really good card to have in play against Grixis here, so... I'm liking where we're at here.
That's a good card to draw. Let's play it. If our opponent goes disinformation campaign, I'm discarding the Eldest Reborn. I want the, the other land. And then, uh, so yeah, seventeenth. The seventeenth is when uh, Ravnica Allegiance will be on um, on Arena here, and so I'm going to be doing a twelve-hour stream on the seventeenth um, to celebrate that. Hey, thanks, Night Owl. And also, uh, I'm going to be playing basically all limited uh, for that. Um, building my collection with cards from Ravnica Allegiant. So I'll be playing lots of sealed and draft. Um, mostly sealed to start with. First few leagues. So that'll be from 11 Eastern to 11 to 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to join in there. All right, so we'll discard the Lava Coil and go with Eldest Reborn. Get that in play. <laughs> yep, and so yeah, that we'll be streaming some limited then. Yep. This game's looking really good for us, basically because of this Bloodfast. <laughs> Walk the flank. Whoa, I have never seen I have never seen that animation before. I don't think I've ever seen anybody cast Walk the Plank. Oh man, I want to play that card, but we don't have an we need another land. Land, please. All right, good enough. So, Allegiant, they're gonna have. It looks like from from what from what it looks like on their calendar, it's actually uh, the best of one draft that cost five hundred or five thousand gold or seven hundred fifty gems is not gonna be Allegiance. It's gonna be M nineteen, um, and. Yeah, which is really weird for like the rest of the month, for the rest of January, and then like beginning of February is when that comes in. Oh, I should have drawn a card first. I forgot that I could draw a card. Sorry, I was talking about that. Man, I would have loved to discard that card instead. Um, but the the best two out of three draft will be will be um, Allegiance, and sealed will be Allegiance as well. All right, Nickel Bolus is bigger than Lava Coil now. So if their last card's Lava Coil, doesn't kill it. Oh no, Eldest Reborn. All right, you got me there. Hmm. Hmm. Those cards are all good. How do we want to do this? Huh. Huh. I didn't even see that Entrancing Melody earlier. Give me this Nickel Bolas.
Yeah, so that's kind of unfortunate that you had, that we had to wait. Like, I really wish that the, the other draft was. I wish the draft was the Allegiance right away. <laughs> yeah, we do not want to flip. You do not want to flip your opponent's Nicol Bolas. Because that does say, exile it, then return him to the battlefield transformed under his owner's control. So, Idro's the owner, not us. All right, so Eldritch Reborn's gonna get back, likely Nicobolus. I kind of want to just play Playcrafter here, sack Daredevil, make them discard a card. That's not worth it. We have so many ways to kill our opponent. So many ways. We could coil. Okay. We will contempt. Don't knock over the remote. Cat. Hawkeye loves just like batting things off the. He loves batting things off the table here. Or off, yeah, like, whatever this is called, like, table or whatever I'm playing on. Desk? Desk. That's a word. Desk. He loves batting things off the desk and also into the trash can. You know, I have like the trash can like right over here. And just so. Like, you know, he just knocks the remote in the trash can. Just like he'll take like my chapstick, knock it over. I don't know. Yeah, in other words, he's a cat. I was batting things off the desk. What are we playing against, Grixis? Grixis. Let's get another Bloodfast. More Duresses. Doom Whispers. I'm not sure if I actually want Doom Whisperer. I don't think I do. Um, we're going to take out the Coils. We still have Contempt, Eldritch Reborn, Playcrafter. Probably take out Contempt also. We still have Elder Reborn Playcrafter. Nah, that's probably taking out too much removal. Put some Contempts back in. I still have Daredevil also, though. Yelsa's favorite song. Funked up music. Two Doom Whisperer, one Contempt. Alright, final answer. Yeah, Hawkeye likes the camera. <laughs> Hawkeye says Kobe every time he makes it in the trash can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not actually playing. It's definitely Hawkeye. Can't even see me. Alright, we're playing Mono Black Control here. MBC. Here. Hawkeye's favorite network. Da, da, da. 
I just want Bloodfast out of my hand before a Thought Erasure. <laughs> Do you think Hawkeye thinks you're crazy and talking to him during this whole time on stream? Maybe. Craft was pretty good. This kills Nicol Bolas and draws us a card. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll draw another card. Certainly want to hit land drops. There we go. Siege gain's good. Let's play that one. It's really good against Eldest Reborn. They have another Eldest Reborn, that is. Haven't been able to use this Bloodfast yet. We've been just too busy curving out, but uh, there'll come a time when they make us discard all these cards. It'll be worth it. Well, if I kill Niv Mizzet, they just get it back with Eldest Reborn. I can kill it with Siege Gang Commander. So let's just play Immortal Sun. I need my opponent to play some spells. Or like some some sweet spell. So they gotta get Nickel Bolas back, right? Assume it's definitely assume it's Nickel Bolas back. And which means I have to discard a card. And I don't know what I want to discard. I think I discard Midnight Reaper. Yeah, I think I discard Midnight Reaper. <laughs> too much human, too low cat. Cat cam. Yeah, here comes Bolas. Bolas, Bolas, Bolas. Ugh. I would like to daredevil that. Alright, we want to draw Eldritch Reborns and Play Crafters. Playcrafter specifically. Playcrafter would be the best draw. Oh, I thought that was Playcrafter. Um. Is it you? Is it me? Such things that you can't see. Going blind out of the Alright, so we're going to... Let this happen. One, two, one, two, three. I guess I don't get to cast Midnight Reaper. So, huh? I could like go the risky route of draw a card with Bloodfast and hope and like hit land and then be able to 
Oh, no, no. I would just then just cast Rekindle the Phoenix. I wouldn't be able to play Midnight Reaper also, because I would use the two mana. But we wanted, we really wanted uh, Playcrafter there because we could have used Siege Gang Commander to, to take out the Nicol Bolas, then Playcrafter would take out Niv Mizzet. No, because, so, yeah, question is, shouldn't have the damage assigned at second main phase sack the goblin? Because once Siege Gang Commander died in combat, we would we would not be able to um, sacrifice the goblin anymore. So, we couldn't. Then. So, we, ha we had to sacrifice then before damage, because Siege Gang is the thing that sacrifice... Yeah, they block Siege Gang, so. All right, they're digging through their deck. So, Vras's Contempt is our best draw, actually, just to exile this Niv Mizzet so they can't get it back with Eldritch Reborn. Ugh. Hmm. They're gonna get Nicol Bolas back. Could get Siege Gang Commander back. They could actually just get Siege Gang Commander back and kill me. Yeah, I think we're losing this. So I'm going to just draw a card because I think we're losing this. That doesn't help. Yeah, with damage on the stack. Alright, then Siege Gang just kills me now. I mean, I guess it killed me before, but... If I took out, I probably need to keep all the uh, contempts in. If I've taken contempts out, I didn't realize there were a Niv Mizzet Grixis deck. I was thinking like Nicol Bolas and maybe maybe Doom Whisperer. You know, I wasn't really thinking they were going to be a, a Niv Mizzet Grixis deck. So if I if I sideboard out some of the contempts, I'm going to be bringing them back in. Took out all the contempts. Could have killed Niv on their untap after Eldest triggered. Yeah. Instead of playing Immortal Sun. Yeah, we could have done that. That could have worked. Yeah, we could have done that. Hmm. Alright, never mind. Three contempt. I'm just going to take Doom Whisperers back out for Contempts. Yeah. The song will come up here and give it a minute, but it'll come up. Okay. We got to get this so we can stay undefeated with Rakdos mid-range. Ugh. Don't have lands. Okay, we got lands. Turn two blood fast. This is what we... Um, we had this game one on the play. I scarred that to the bottom because it wasn't a land. Uh, we mulled the six and had turn two blood fast on the play. So...
worked last time. Next turn we can draw a card plus duress, which is nice. Sure. I of course want to draw cards on their end step. Um, because they are playing like these discard things, I don't want to like just draw the card and then pass uh, and give them more information if they have another thought erasure. So we'll just pass. There's a very slight chance that we draw one of our other duresses that we could cast, but that's just not worth it. Huh. Well boss can get some work done here. Hmm. Blocker? Nope. War boss can certainly get some work done here. And <laughs> no, there's no better land than Cinder Barons right now in standard. Wow. Thirteen. Opponent with a, a great hand. Certainly the exact the perfect time for Legion War Bosses is right after Thought Erasure. You know, turn two Thought Erasure, turn three War Boss, turn four War Boss. They mold the six also. This is a great, great, great six for the opponent. Gotta give it up for having something like this. It's very good. Yeah, so they had the, the war boss sideboard plan on like not what I was expecting at all. Them being on the draw, you know, on the draw war bosses were just not on my radar at all. So great hand. <laughs> Triple war boss. Yeah, that's just... It's very good. We don't even stay alive here. We're just dead. Yeah, I'd have to just single block these other things. And we're not going to do that, so we're not going to win. So, yeah, we're just dead. All right. Good job, opponent. Nice hand. Three and one. Uh, we can still, still get the five win, though. We're not out of it. We're not out of it. We get to play till we get two losses. And quasi duplicate plus war boss. Hmm. This looks good. Lots of tap lands. And kind of relying on Seeker Squire. Oh, we're not on the play? I honestly thought we were on the play with this. I don't like this as much on the draw. Okay, that's a good, a good card. Yep, that's exactly what you got there, Pulse Men. Um, you know, you want to be more proactive on the play. You need to be more reactive on the draw, because uh, you know, on the play, you get to be, you just get to be ahead. You know, by just, by just what it's like being on the play and everything. What deck do you recommend for somebody getting into modern? Um, I think I'd recommend Burn. I think Burn's a, a good deck, and it's it's a a good deck for just for also for I think it's just a good deck in general, but it's also a good deck for starting off in modern. So that's what I'd recommend.
Yeah, they were able to change their game plan and it was quite the surprise. All one, but two, it's it's kind of it's risky doing that. You know, if if we're like going towards like you know like a later game, and if they're just drawing Legion war bosses in the later game, it's just a terrible draw. It's it's perfect if you have them in your opening hand, and especially multiple like that. But it it's not without risk though. Hmm. So, I'm just going to play the Daredevil. It has first strike. It'll be able to, to check Midnight Reaper. I don't think they know that it has first strike. Or they just want to draw a card. But they just want to draw a card, they could just attack the Glan Elf. It's a lot of Memorial to Follies over there. So we're going to we're going to play Siege Gang next turn and just have like some some trump blockers for the 6-6. Six, six. For the two 6-6s. Six, hmm. Maybe that's better. No. Yeah, these Boulder Hulks are just infinite. Right now. They have another one too. They're just they're just infinite. We'd have to exile them. I don't think we can. I am pretty positive this game is lost. What do you think will be the first card I spend a wild card on? Well, it'll depend because. I'm going to be playing limited first and building a collection with that. So it'll it'll really depend. Yeah, what are these opponents hands? Ones that can beat our deck. <laughs> oh, wow, it's giant. Sure. Yeah, great, great point in chat there. If you have the time, the best thing to do is to um, proxy up decks if you have the time and try them out before investing in a deck. This is not a good matchup for us. Um, yeah, play this matchup before. This is just not a good matchup for us. With playing like these Playcrafters, Elder Shaborns, all these kind of things. Uh, this is Their cards match up really well against ours. Um, yeah, this is just not a good, not a good matchup. This is one of our worst matchups. We have so many like sacrifice effects that don't matter. Yeah, this is a tough one. I think KCI will be banned at some point in 2019. Not necessarily. All right, I'm I'm saving, saving uh, not killing land. We're all saving it for golden demise. Um. And they play tons of Midnight Reapers. I want to be able to have Lava Coil for that. But yeah, not necessarily like immediately, but some point in 2019, I believe that deck is going to get banned. Yep, KC has Cart Clan Ironworks. It's a deck in modern. So, Demise, Coil, or Contempt? Contempt gone. Contempt's the one that answers Mulder Hulk. I 
And yeah, no attacks from the opponents. I would have been blocking there. Um, but now that we hit the land, I don't think I need to block. Or, sorry, I don't need to, like, attack in. I should attack first. I, got, I missed two points of damage. That was bad. I should just attack for four in the air first and then golden demise. Miss those two points. Yeah, so our opponents are really stuck on lands. Um, I don't want to coil this elf. But... So if I play Doom Whisper, they could have, like, uh, Chupacabra for it. Maybe I should just coil the elf. All right, gonna do that. Always bolt the bird. All right, they put a land back on top with the shaman. Yep. Not good in this matchup. Chupacabra, Kral Harpooner. Yeah, I, I do think Rakdos Aggro is going to be strong for sure. Yeah, it's it's looking good. I'll just. I was thinking about contempting Chupacabra there, and then being able to attack him with all these Gobo tokens. Also, I'm just gonna get Doom Whisperer because even if they, if they have Chupacabra kill the Doom Whisperer, then Phoenix kills them. It's gonna be hard for them to answer both of these. They could have Kral Harpooner plus um, the. They need like the one mana instant undergrowth card that exiles. They need that. Oh, anything else? Elder Shaborn's still not good. I'll try a couple moment of cravings to kill Llanowar Elves. They necrotic wound, yeah. A weakness of their deck is they don't play tons of lands. They can certainly get stuck on mana. I'll try that. The third chapter of Eldritch Reborn is really nice. The first two chapters aren't that good. And at five mana, I don't really want to put it in the deck. All right, we got two, whoa, that's not gonna come into play untapped. We got two Lava Coils, so I'll just go ahead and use one right now. Oh, we have Golden Demise. Oh, I shouldn't have used it. I forgot about Golden Demise. Well, we're fine. All right, come on, deck. We need lands. Got to get lands. For this matchup with Eldritch Reborn, I'm talking about for this matchup. In general, I mean, there's some matchups it is amazing against, but this one, not as good. basically hit all all creatures so they get to cast Molder Hulk. We need another land so we can start so we can contempt it. Uh 
Ugh. Man, we kept a three lander. The deck's not helping us out. Ow. That hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you have more of those. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're not dead. We were certainly dead if we didn't get to land that turn. We're not dead. Yeah, I heard you need a contempt for these Mulder Hulks, right? Here's another contempt. Opponent just flooded out. Op opponent flooded out. Um, so they can get Golgari Raiders. There's a rain in your bedroom and I see I don't think there's any instant that's going to punish us for waiting on contempt here. Yeah, we saw them play Lotlith Giant. They have Golgari Raiders in their graveyard, which is instant speed. Or not instant speed, but you know it has haste. But if they get it out, it'll only be a 4-4. Hmm. Let the mask around. Hmm. Well, this is a tough one. It's not the land I wanted. Very resilient, though. And keep it. Yeah, so to put the stop, you have to put it in their first main phase. So you'd have to put it, like, right here. Click click this first main phase. Like, And you have to do it with, like, the war boss on the stack. It's like the, or at least that's, like, the best time to do it. Alright, so there's raiders. So 4-4. Four, four. Do I block with Squire to save four life? I think so. I think so. Basically, basically just turn their card into Chupacabra. Yeah, with them, with them lotless and, and everything. Unfortunately, Immortal Sun, I'm just not going to get to you. Ah, I did have Necrotic Wound. We haven't seen that card for them yet in the other games. They're down to just one card. Down to just one card. It's a little safer just to Contempt here, but if they draw a Molder Hulk, I certainly want the Contempt for the Molder Hulk. Well, dang. Alright, what do I want to... Do I want to surveil? So I'm going to five. Surveilling puts me down to three. 
Ugh. Lawless death definitely kills me. Really don't want to draw lands though. Passing. Certainly wish wish I would have just contempted. Uh, I said I didn't want to draw lands deck. Remember when we were stuck on three lands? That seems like a long time ago. We got two bricks out of the way. Wasn't definitely was not surveilling again with them having a two one. Oh, ooh, all right. Uh, they got a folly and a Mulder Hulk over there, and Golgari Raiders. Whoo, Golgari Raiders on top. Come on, CG and Commander. Come on, CG and Commander. I mean, I guess Doom Whisper it is. It's either Whisper or Squire. I guess Squire blocks just as well and explores. Not necessarily just as yeah, just as well. Hmm. I'll just take the 6-6. Six, six. Okay. I'm drawing creatures. We need a spell. I think we did it. I think we did it. We did it. We got the Siege King. We got it, Hawkeye. Let's attack. Way to go, Hawkeye. No lethal. No lethal. No lethal. No lethal! Alright, 4-1. Woo! That was a good spell. Alright. All right, we can still get to five wins. Good job, Hawkeye. It was looking real grim for us there. We certainly needed our opponent to flood out like that, like they did. GG easy. Good job, Hawkeye. All right, final boss time. Yeah, let's keep it with Squire. Turn two mana Squire. Absolutely. He has a Dane. Sure can. And I, I do. Um, I help people deck list and everything. Also, like uh, down below the info panel has lots of things about donating. Um, if you want to help help with a, a deck and all that kind of stuff. Uh, lots of information about donating, all the different things about that. Do you think keeping a Mortal Stone was better over Doom? I didn't think so, because I, I felt like we were going to need, like, the, the blockers kind of immediately. Like, I didn't think we are going to need, going to be able to take a turn off to, in order to, um, Immortal Sun there. That 
elf out of there. I don't want no Vivian next turn. They have fine finality? Alright, so they have fine finality. Alright, I got I got contempt now for Vivian, so we'll let this elf go. We got the mana now. Thanks, we are a spawn. Um, looks like I'm, I'm contempting or coiling the elf again. Cause I'm, I'm thinking they may have Carnage Tyrant here. Um, don't want to let them get the mana towards that. Let's get that elf out of here again. Taking a lot of elves out of here. So they are making like they do likely have fine finality. I think that they get these creatures back. Um, that's just how life is. They're gonna be able to get those creatures back either way. And we're just gonna keep on going with this Rekindling Phoenix. Hope they don't find Brass's Contempt. I could like sack the Rekindling Phoenix to play Crafter and still get it back on my turn, but if they have a Chupacabra to kill that or like cast down something like that to kill the egg, uh, then it's, you know, just a, a real bad move on my part, so I'm not doing that. Alright, no Carnage Tyrant. Still just hoping they don't find, find Contempt. I guess... I guess Jade Light's the best thing for How me to get back goes. No with one knows the wilds like I do. That's bold. I thought they were going to just minus and kill the... Yeah, I thought they were just going to minus and kill the Reborn. Bold. If I let um, if I let Vivian stay alive there, then they could Vivian minus to kill Phoenix and uh, then Chupacabra and kill the the token. So, got to get Vivian out of there. If they would have minus and killed her born, I still would have done the same play, even though Phoenix could have attacked and killed uh, Vivian because we're attacking them down to four, putting them on that that one turn clock, I would still just Contempt and then attack them. We don't really need that Contempt for anything besides Vivian. Um, anything I want to change? I like Ritual of Sit in this matchup. I don't like Playcrafter as much. Let's put in Ritual of Sets. Take out Playcrafter. I still kind of like Eldest Reborn, because if they don't have Vivian, like the, the third chapter and everything is pretty great. Oh, hey, good good games, BRZ. Sorry, I, I just noticed that, you know, you were in chat for the, the last match. Yeah, that was a really, really close match, that last one. Really great, really great games. Um, I don't love this copy of Bloodfast. I don't love the other Playcrafter. 
yeah, you, you can find the Nia Legends list in here in x Point decks. You can find all the decks that I play there. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. I just play... Oh, I just play a couple moment of cravings. I don't hate that. And actually, no, I'll... Yeah, what if I just do that? All right, gonna do that. I guess I could play a couple Doom Whisperers, I guess. I don't know, I don't necessarily love any of my options for, for that last part. This is not great. What allegiance cards would be good in this? Um, of course, Blood Crypt, first and foremost, of course. Um, but Theater of Horrors, I think, would be a good card for this deck. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Theater of Horrors is just a great card. Um, anyway, Bedev Bedevil certainly. Bedevil would certainly go in this deck. Um, and. Sure, there'll be some other things. Two. We'll see. And we got lots of Midnight Reapers. All right, come on, land. Come on, land. Good, good. And we get the Cinder Barons untapped. That's good. We'll just trade with the Branch Walker if opportunity presents itself. Which it does. Midnight Reaper. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be blocking with Midnight Reaper here if we can. I, I'll trade it with, with Jade Light. You know, I, I don't want to just like sit back and, and not trade stuff. Coil's a good draw. Okay, so we're going to Contempt Vivian. So we take a 3, go to 11, Contempt Vivian. To lose take another, you. gain 2 to go to 13, take another 3 back down to 10. Yeah, Golgari midrange will certainly still be good. Um, it may not be... Like, maybe it will uh, evolve. It may be, like, add another uh, color or something. Um, you know, like, it may turn into Jund or something like that. Um, any advice on Selesnya versus Golgari? Can't seem to beat the life... Beat the life gain, explore, and Vivian finds two. Ugh. Can't be Carnage Tyrant here. Hmm. Yep, can't be that Carnage Tyrant. Well, Takali Honor Guard, you know, with Selesnya is. You know, that card's great against Golgari. I don't. Yeah, I don't know exactly what version of Selesnya you're playing. That's certainly, like. A great card there. Um, S Settle the wreckage is another option um, that can that you can uh, do all those. You know, beat all the creatures with with that. Um, yeah, I need these Doom Whispers in here. They just died to cast down. I don't want this. All right, take this moment of craving back out. Get some Doom Whispers in. Down, down, down. Two. Two. Let we'll us play some Duress in the matchup.
I'll have a duress in the deck. Yeah, Mortal Sun. Um, yeah, Mortal Sun's awesome in that matchup if, if you're not playing many Planeswalkers yourself. Mortal Sun is great against uh, Vivian and everything. Okay, so yeah, you're playing tokens. Takatli Honor Guard. Is there a site where I can read the strategies behind the current meta decks that you would recommend, i.e. how to play them? Um, there's not really a good site that has that. You kind of have to um, search deck by deck. Um, and just kind of like type like the deck that, that you're wanting to read about, like like type in that deck and then like deck guide or or sideboard guide um i played mono blue for the first time yesterday you know like we played that and did real well with it you know going 5-0 but before the stream i read up a little bit about it on on reddit actually had some good information there man I'm not going to beat this Carnage Tyrant. I'm not beating this Carnage Tyrant here. So they're going to play Jade Light. Oh no, yeah. Okay, that's better for me. Play another creature. Ah. We'll take that out. Oh yeah, I've never, I mean, I just like Google searched and, and it, you know, like took me to Reddit, but it was a really well-written guide on Mono Blue. Um, why do I have to draw all three Daredevils? Ugh. This did not go very Wild well. Animals I like. People, not so much. Okay. We're still alive. Still alive. Yeah, I've played some Big Red before. I like that. I like Big Red. Um, last time I played Big Red, I was playing Jaya Ballard in it. Which is really cool. I guess I'm keeping this. So for um, Zidane, I don't like the Ravager Worms whatsoever in your deck. It costs six mana, it's too much. Better things to be doing. Everything else looks pretty good. I like how you have like that low curve with like some four mana planeswalkers to top it off. I would get the Ravager Worms out of that deck and play whatever else. Play something else cheap. Probably play some more interaction. Honestly, you just need more removal in that slot. Whether you're playing Chupacabras or or what, you need more interaction. Get get the six mana card out of your deck. Out of your 23 land deck. 
No, so dig digging for Reborn wouldn't work here because we knew they were going to just be playing a creature um, after, like, the Carnage Tyrant before we'd get Reborn. We'll have land. Okay. So land allows us to Daredevil Contempt. And we're not dead yet. Almost dead. I need to draw like Doom Whisperer. I have no no confidence in having three creatures block a Carnage Tyrant with Golgari with all the removal they have and everything. Yeah, no reason to play the six drop in that deck. You're just going to have it stuck in your hand too often. Even like Regisaur Alpha is a better card than that card anyway. Regisaur Alpha costs five. If you want something that's like bigger, if you really want, just play Regisaur Alpha. It's a better card and it costs one less. If only I had Play Crafter. I'm starting to think taking out the Play Crafters was a mistake. Because even if we had like a Play Crafter in the graveyard, we could Daredevil the Find and put get Play Crafter back and play it. Alright, 4 and 2. We dropped to the final boss. Our hand was not very good there that last game at all. And that's the thing about Golgari. They don't have bad hands. All their cards are so good. Alright, we got a Sigh. And... Crucible. Yeah, I think last time we played this deck with Rakdos midrange, that was something that I think we lost to Carnage Tyrant also like with our one loss. I remember we went like 5-1 last time. I think we... Mention that too. I think this this deck could be playing a detection tower um, in one of these twenty five lands. That could certainly be a, th a thing. That could cer certainly be a thing. So, all right. If you were watching this over on YouTube, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I uh, hope you check out another video. But Rakdos Midrange is. This is a strong deck that uh, is only going to be getting better, um, and it's one that, that I've been having a lot of success with and one that I really like. So, so if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, see you next